What's going on guys and you've read that title. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing and a first impressions video of the new flagship Galaxy phone, the S22 Ultra. Now the S22 series comes in three different varieties, the regular S22, the S22 Plus, and the S22 Ultra which is the high tier version of this phone and what many people are calling the successor to the Note series. Now I've had a Galaxy phone since the original Galaxy S Captivate, which was the AT&T variety of the original Galaxy S. So I was very excited to be looking at the S22 Ultra today. Um, I am upgrading my phone from the S20 Plus that came out in 2020. But without further ado, let's open up the S22 Ultra and let's see just very much what this phone brings in the box and what it brings to the S22 and the S lineup in itself. So I have my handy dandy box opener and the cool thing about this was AT&T like many companies were offering uh, upgrade options to trade in a f old phone to get like $800 off. So I traded in my old uh, Galaxy S9 Plus which has just been sitting around for the last four years. Um, or last two years for that matter, dude can't do math, but we're going to take a look at this. Um, and offhand, this is nice, this is huge, I mean I'm going to put it side by side to the S20, and you can just see the big difference in terms of just build quality and body shape. This thing is massive and it feels like it, I went with the phantom white variety, and we're going to put this to the side, you see we have the... Still, I guess, five cameras on the back um, and the one 40 megapixel camera up front. Now, this did come with a new SIM card. I'm going to just pop off my old one to transfer my data um, because I think I still have a 5G SIM card in there. And then in here, it looks like Samsung has included also the handy-dandy SIM removal tool. The only thing I wasn't super happy about for the S22 um, series, which happened originally in the S21 series, was they took out the SD card slot. So I had to actually transfer everything over to my phone yesterday. Um, but in essence, my Nintendo Switch now has a 200 gigabyte micro SD card, which is cool. Um, and then in here, it looks like we have the user manuals and they did provide a USB-C cable which is going to be nice to transfer all my data into charge. There isn't a charging brick in here, guys, uh, because I guess they assume you already have one from all your previous iterations of phones. But what we're going to do now, I want to go ahead, this thing is heavy, um, get this set up, get it all charged. Uh, let's pull out the S Pen first. That's cool. I've never had an S Pen before. It's going to be interesting having a stylus. Um, and then I'm going to come back show you guys some features that I guess have caught my eye in the midst of playing around with it and my final first impressions of this phone uh, so far I like the heftiness I like that it has the new Gorilla Glass what is it Victus Plus on here and I'm happy I went with the white um, so it won't really show a lot of fingerprints but like I said I'm gonna go transfer my data over get this set up and I'll be back with you guys to give you some first impressions now I gotta say guys, after playing around with this phone for a little bit, I could see why this is Samsung's premium top of the line of the S22 series. Now, in terms of specs, we have a 1440p screen, 120 hertz adaptive refresh rate, which means it's gonna go between 60 hertz and 120 as it needs to. Uh, during gaming, that's gonna really, really help you. And, you know, it's just a very bright screen. It's using a Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 processor, which I believe is Qualcomm's newest top-of-the-line processor. And you guys can also tell I'm kind of recording this upside down so that we get some of the best uh, video footage of the actual phone. It is a little out of focus. I apologize for that. But I'm going to talk to you guys real quick about the casual user on here because... You know, the tech gurus already know the full specs on here. We know that we have a 108 megapixel camera on the back, which I'm going to show you some of the little tests I did on here with the front-facing camera, the 40 megapixel, because me, being a selfie type of guy, that's what I'm going to be using the most. But Like I mentioned, we do have, out of all these cameras on the back, 108 megapixel 
on here. I do like the bezels on here, how they're kind of like matted in to the phone, if that makes sense, where it's not like an actual distinguished area, uh, which makes it cool. It makes it sleeker for me. I love how the back is just that phantom white that's really not going to show fingerprints as bad uh, as I think if I had the black one would. You can see I have my CM Punk wallpaper. The transitional period of moving all of this over from my S20 Plus to this was about 30 minutes connecting via USB-C. It went very quickly. Um, and it wasn't that hard of a setup. I love that phones have gotten very um, simple to transfer data over where it used to be you had to go to the phone store and have them do it. Now, the casual user is going to be using this for a lot of different things. YouTube is going to be one of them. So I have a 4K video prepared. And if we could take a look at that real quick, we're going to see just how well this screen performs in 4K. Now, minus the glare that you could see, there's a lot of detail in here. Now, this has a 120 hertz adapted refresh rate, as I mentioned, adaptive refresh rate, um, which is basically going to go back and forth between 60 hertz uh, and 120 based on whether or not you're going to need it, which is going to be very great for the gamers in the room. Now, the other thing a lot of casual... Uh, phone people are going to be using this for is definitely the camera. Now we're going to pull up the gallery because I did some test videos before. This was trying to shoot an 8K video and I like how you could zoom in and out of the video here to kind of show what it's supposed to be doing uh, or kind of crop it in a way. And you could see the 8K video and I think it was 24 frames per second was pretty awesome. Now let's look at some other things because I took a photo here using the 108 megapixel camera and the detail in here is actually really really nice I wish my camera would focus a little bit better on the screen and then of course using the 40 megapixel front facing camera I took some selfies and that one's my favorite this one's the one I posted the background blur effect on here is actually really like cool uh, and I gotta say that this definitely made me look a lot better than I normally do, as you could see from my regular videos. So I'm very impressed by this camera. I'm very impressed by the snappiness. You can see how quickly it loads up apps, uh, and just scrolling is super smooth um, from using the phone. I know there's probably a little latency with the way the video is. What up, Rocky? That's cool. Um, but for the casual user, this phone is gonna be fantastic. The cameras are great, and it's just a really fast phone. Now, for the hardcore user, the people that are going to be using this for games, this is using one of the more uh, more recent, newer Adreno GPUs. I wish I had some games downloaded to show you, but with the Qualcomm Gen 8, um, with the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 1, that's what it is. It's a little bit of a confusing name. It's a really snappy processor. Um, however, that's usually only in the U.S. overseas. It's going to be using the Samsung Xenos processors, I believe they're called, um, or Exynos, however it's pronounced, which will offer very similar performance. Now, this does have a 5,000 milliamp battery to it, which is supposed to boast about a day and a half of everyday use. Um, it does have super fast charging through wire, which I think is 45 watts, which is going to get you charged up. I went from about 50 to 88% on here in about... 25, 30 minutes, which I thought was fantastic. Um, and then, you know, we're going to have a lot of different um, factors in here, which are going to be awesome. Because let's see if I could turn the brightness down on here a little bit, get a little bit more of a, a focus on this. We have a fast CPU. We have beautiful camera lenses. We have really good sound on here, too. Let's see if I can play something for you just so you guys could see. Maybe from this video, you could see just how loud, just how loud the speakers go before we get copyright flagged for that. Um, and just overall, being top of the line, the one thing I have to mention on here too is the S Pen, because the S22 Ultra does come with the S Pen. The moment you take this out, it's going to give you a bunch of different options of things you can use. And it's really cool with um, a stylus on here, because as you guys can see, there's like a little mouse 
that follows you around as you're doing everything on the phone. So we're gonna do create a note. We're gonna click that. I'm gonna try to just draw something real quick just so you can see that responsive time that so many people have boasted with the S Pen. So because I love you guys, we're gonna try to draw a heart. And you could see it came out real quick. I'm gonna sign this for you, you know, that's your autograph from Double G 392. My signature really needs work. Yes, I am a lefty. Everyone always craps on my handwriting ever since I was a little kid. Now, the phone itself, is it worth getting? And after showing off all these features, I will describe that to you um, in a little bit because there's a lot of different things to take into consideration with picking up a new phone. Um, just in comparison, I want to put it 100% next to my old S20 Plus. Now you can see the screen's a little bit bitter, bigger. The S20 Plus is also running the Canon camera app, which is how I'm recording this. But in itself, I definitely think this phone hosts a lot of different features that many people are going to love, especially from having the integrated S Pen and the fact that it charges through the phone uh, and kind of clicks in. Now, let's kind of back out of this and I'm going to give you guys my final thoughts. So my final thoughts so far on the S22 Ultra. I think this is a worthy phone to pick up. I think this is an awesome design. The integrated S Pen is cool. The 45 watt super fast charging will get this phone probably charged from 0 to 100 in less than 2 hours, which is fantastic, especially coming from the days where it used to take hours to charge your phone. I think it's a worthy upgrade. Now, many people compare this to the, naturally, the S21 Ultra from last year. Me being the person I am, I'm comparing this to the S20 Plus, which is the last phone I have because I'm not a person who'll buy a phone every year. So, for someone who was just looking to upgrade because that screen's kind of cracked and stuff, you probably saw it from the video, I think this is fantastic. I am very much impressed by what this phone can do, by the screen quality that we're getting, by the refresh rate, by the responsiveness. Now, also that 40 megapixel selfie camera. I want to leave you guys with this. If you guys are in the market to look for a new phone, to upgrade, and you're Android people, or even if you want to give it a chance after, you know, leaving Apple, we might as well have you guys try this phone. Because the S22 Ultra, me being someone who always had a Galaxy phone, I am really enjoying it. I've always been a fan of Android, and they only keep getting better with their features. Uh, to my understanding, this wasn't a big upgrade in comparativeness from features from the S21 minus the better camera stabilization uh, in terms of motion video, the higher uh, camera lens, the better low light uh, videos and picture taken. But with all the regular iterations with the newer processor, the newer GPU, the 5000 milliamp battery, the S22 Ultra in my opinion is a phone that if you're looking for an upgrade as I mentioned is going to be something to go to. I like the sturdiness, I like the build quality, I like that the S Pen can do a lot of things, including being um, a, like a, um, a picture taker for your camera, that's what I was looking for, where, you know, you could just press the little button on here and it acts as the photo um, shutter, I guess you could say. So this phone, I definitely need to play around with a little bit more, get some gaming on here to give you guys a full-on upgrade, and maybe I'll do that or update um, later down the line. But with that being said, I definitely think this is a phone you should look out for, and I want to thank you guys all for tuning in. With that being said, you know, thank you for being here with me, and uh, let's take a picture for the viewers. Have a good one, guys. I'll catch you later. See ya. Bye.